Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through another way of creating a curved truss using uh, hollow section profiles in Tecla structures and we'll go ahead and get started right away. Now, if you take a look on the screen, you can, you, you can see an elevation of a curved truss here. So I'll just come to view here and I want to do rotate this so that you can have an uh, isometric view of this. You can have a look at this. So this is exactly what we want to produce. So that I want to show you the key point here just to show you another way of creating a curved stress manually. If in this case you don't have the macro that will help you through to make a, 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 a curved truss. So I'll show you that. So this is the direction we will be heading to. This is how it looks. This is how it looks and we have our grid in place. So the next step I'm going to do just to get rid of everything and just select everything here and press control because I will not delete my grids and uh, I'll, dis, uh, I'll exempt or uh, ex uh, exclude the grid by selecting on the grid once you, you've selected everything. Now once you've selected everything and excluded whatever you don't want to delete, press control, uh, press del delete right here and uh, we'll get rid of everything that we don't need. So for the, the trust I've showed you, I've just uh, that is a preview of the, the direction we are going to head to. Now. I'll right click here and click interrupt just to get rid of or to exit from uh, that command of delete. Now, the first step is to create the setting out points, which are the uh, which are our columns that will help us in setting out our curved truss. Now, where would we get our columns? If this is your first time, I'll just take you through from the scratch. Now, this is the point I'll come to steal. Then come to column. I'll click on the column here. Remember, this is Tecla Structures 2019. I'll click on column right there. Then I'll snap on that part. On that part. So, by default, under UK environment, and uh, this will appear like this. So, what we are going to do? We want to rectify this or use a different uh, uh, profile. So, we'll double click on this so that we get access to profile catalog of all the sections. Now, I'll click on this uh, the, this radio button here because this is the, the description or the size of this column here so we don't want to use this we don't want to use universal column we want to use universal beam here i'll click on that then uh, this will take me th straight to profile catalog here so from this list i'll scroll down and come to universal beam or ubs and click on that and i want to use uh 205 right there and click on the first one i'll pick on that and click apply and accept I'll use the same thing. I'll, I'll click modify here on, I uh, mean, under beam properties, give a node by clicking mod modify. So if you take a look here, uh, our column has gone slightly deep the ground by some few dimensions. How do you know? How do you estimate that? There's no need of it. Meeting this need to, actual, to actually check how deep has it gone to, to the ground or beyond the, gr the grid lines. Now, I'll double click on that and you can see that here, the height of a column here by default is 7 meters. It has gone deep be below the grid by uh, 4.5, by, by 4, 0.4 meters. Now, I'll click, I'll bring it to the surface of the grid by typing 0 there and I want to adjust our column height to 10 meters right there. I'll, uh, I'll type 10, min 10 meters there and click modify and, th and that will take it to the surface of the grid or to the zero zero level. Now I'll double click on this. I'll, oh, no, no double clicking on that. Just select and we'll just right click and uh, click copy because we want to take it on the opposite direction to create another setting out point for our curved truss. How do you do that? Once you've selected your column here, just snap on a point that will be able to to copy at the similar point on the opposite direction. Now we'll zoom out and snap on this position and move away from that. Then come all the way here. This stretch is uh, approximately 40, not approximately, uh, actually uh, 40 meters. I'll snap it right there. To check that, it's very easy. You come to edit here and come to measure Drop, click that drop down arrow and pick on the distance you want to just to uh, check roughly on on which spans are we working with. That is it. That's 40 meters. And if you want to check it out, check it out on the grid line search, just double click on the grid line here and you can see that it's 40. It's 20 by 20. The 3 is the, the, the mid point here, the mid grid. So I'll close that. 
so this is 20 this is 20 it's separated by one grid line that cuts across the 40 so make it makes it 40 meter span now this column and this column this these are our uh, setting out points so we'll move forward and uh, we'll come to steel once again and pick on the beam because we want to create fast our uh, first uh, our top cord on f uh, uh, from that edge and stretch all the way to the end of this beam here or this column right there now this is the default member that we used so this is slightly huge we cannot use we cannot use this as our top and bottom cord for our curved truss we'll just double click on this member and come to beam properties here and click on this uh, uh, drop down arrow or this radio button here click on this this, this will take us to uh, profile catalog inside here we want to use a top cord uh, we want to use square hollow section i mean shs 80 by 80 by 4 and the internal members will use will, will use 40 40 by 4 millimeter thick where do we access them we'll access all all, uh, all the profiles inside here or inside this catalog so we'll just scroll down and come to rectangular hollow sections so inside here we'll find both rectangular hollow section and square hollow section so we'll click this plus sign here and we'll find the shs square hollow section click that plus sign and be prompted in variety of sizes of uh, square hollow section under uk environment or under uk standard or be under bs standards now i'll come to 80 by 80 click that uh, plus button button so we'll have all these profiles under 80 by 80 uh, but uh, thickness varies so we'll pick on 80 by 80 by 4 millimeter thick for the top cord and for the bottom cord click apply and uh, give an order there by clicking ok then uh, what to do next do you come to under beam properties here and click modify to accept what you've just made or you've just uh, customized or or your settings so what i'm going to do here i'll click on this member then right click and come to special copy here because i want to create the bottom code so just the bottom and the top code are similar so don't no need of creating the similar thing just create one and copy so i'll come to special copy here and click linear so under linear we'll be working with this xyz axis so in this case we'll be moving down the opposite direction of z axis but it's pointing on the opposite direction you can see that it's pointing up but uh, our movement our movement is going the opposite so we'll come to z axis here and feed the approximate or the exact measurement we want to move down with but we'll prefix that uh, measurement with a, a negative sign because you know we are not moving positive you're moving in negative direction so prefix that feed in the negative then follow it with your measurement will 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 uh, offset that with 2.5 meters or 2500 millimeter so go ahead and click copy you'll see that copying down there it is and that and that the, the position it should be now i want a slight offset of the edge of this column here now i'll select everything here then come back and right click and come to special move here and click linear right there then again we want to move with a slight negative measurement down the z axis i'll feed 100 right here and uh, i'll prefix this 100 uh, dimension the negative sign because you're moving in the opposite direction of our z axis here you can see that now i'll go ahead and click move you can see that offset over 100 millimeter there it is the next point is we want to create a curvature for the top cord first then we go to the bottom cord and create a curvature now I'll, I'll select on that and right click and come to and uh, you can select on that right click and come to pro properties that that one will provide you with this beam properties or you can just double click on this the same thing will happen so what we are going to do here under beam properties here will just come to uh, deforming section here we have curved uh, curved beams and we have the curvature here under deforming and we'll target the curve uh, the cumbering so under cumbering here this will, this is what will define the depth of uh, of the curvature of our of our curved truss now we want this to to uh, we want the distance between the bottom cord and the top cord of our curved truss to be center to center of uh, i mean, I mean 2.5 just type 2.5 here or uh, i mean 2.5 or 2500 here that's too much 
2500 here and click modify that's the curve that we want so let me just come here to view so that i turn this round so that you see actually what we've just created turn that remember i've repeated several times you can you can rotate your model by coming to navigate after clicking on view then pick the first option rotate with mouse or press ctrl r on your keyboard like that then you'll see your mouse changing to a plus sign so what you do pick the rotation point then pick pick that there that will be a ro your rotation point then press your left button on the mouse and hold and you'll be able to turn that round smoothly now i'll close this that's we've just gone off the point by trying to explain something else but it's, it's key because it's the key here is you understand how to use this uh how to use the tecla structures in this channel now i'll come to the bottom code i'll select the bottom code here and right click and come to uh, properties once again and i want to uh, give it a curve of the same depth now i'll come here and type 20 uh, 2500 right there and click uh modify i'll click that so you can see we have our cover in place so the next point we want to create a point some re reference point that will help us in creating the the struts or the internal members of this top and bottom code or our our, our truss now we'll get rid of this or we'll not get fully this we will get will not go, uh, get rid of these columns fully but we'll hide them so we'll select and press control and select on that then right click and come to right and right click here and come to hide we'll hide everything because i want to create a, re a reference point from the bottom end here now i'll come to steel here and pick on the beam right and then pick on the first option beam then i want to snap right at the center of this member snap right there then stretch all the way to the, f uh, the to the full span of this uh, truss then i'll snap right here so you'll notice one thing it's still a curve and we don't need a curve in the, we need a straight line that will help us in creating the reference points that will help us in creating the, the struts or the internal members of this curved truss now just double click on the member on the member we just created and uh, come to the forming section here and uh, get rid of this curvature depth then feed the uh, zero then click modify and uh, your 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 member will be straight this is the point that this is the member that will help us in creating the, the struts that right click here and click redraw and we'll bring back our columns because uh, the reason why we got rid of that because we wanted to access the far end of the curved member here so the col columns were acting as an obstruction we were not able to see it clearly so that's the reason why we we hide we we we, we, th we threw them away by hiding them but not deleting you just get that right now i'll target the midpoint of this bottom member or the member we've just created right now now i'll come to edit here then come to points here i'll click i'll pick on the first option the first option in, po in point creation will help you in create a midpoint between two points or that's it now I'll click to uh, online then mouse over this member you'll see an orange cone this is an indication of a mid a midpoint of any component now i'll snap on that edge and snap zoom close so that you make sure you snap on the actual or exact point of a particular component then i'll snap right there so the key of doing that is, is to get the midpoint of this i'll click ok now this is the, the midpoint of this of, of this of the whole span of our of our structure now i want to offset this amp by a by five meter or uh, or by 2.5 then i'll copy it up right click and come to special copy here and click linear now i'll go to z uh, xyz axis and i want to copy it up by 2.5 now i'll get rid of this negative sign because we are going we are moving in a positive direction this time now i'll click copy up then click that so it has ended just to the to, to the bottom code and that the to yeah, i mean in our case that should be the starting point of our struts or internal members now i'll pick on that on that first spot right click and come to copy select copy then we want to uh, we want to use as this as our reference point we'll pick on that then uh, come and place it on the same same point on top here we'll play we'll place it right there so if we zoom out we'll be able to see it it has reached to the, to the far end of our target which which is the top code now what do we do here on, at, at this point what we'll do we select the top one and select the bottom one here then right click and come to special copy here and click linear then we want to populate this along the y-axis 
on the positive side and along the uh, no not the, the, the direction take a look on the x x x uh, x y z axis we we want to populate this along the x y axis x y axis on the positive direction and the and again same uh, x axis on the negative direction we'll go ahead and start doing that right away we'll get treat we delete anything on any axis except the axis you're working on or or the, uh, the axis you're working on or the axis you're po uh, populating any component along now i'll change that to zero and come to x axis here i'll feed my 1.5 right there that is not 1.5 what 1.5 is what i've just made here or, or i've just keyed in here i'll type here 14 i need 14 of that and in the positive direction we'll get that number then uh, in the negative direction we'll get that number of points i'll click that so if I zoom close, you can see the points here, and these are just the reference points to help us in placing our struts or the internal members of our curved truss. So it should not be something so hard or uh, brain crushing uh, thing to do. Now I'll come to uh, still here and come to beam and pick on the beam right there. So what I'm going to do, I'll just snap on that spot and snap on that spot. Right click and, and cl click interrupt to terminate that command. Now double click on this because we want to we want to change the member of this uh, of this uh, of the of this strat. Now what we'll do, we'll come to this radio button here under beam properties. Then uh, this will take us straight to profile catalog here. This is where we'll get the variety of profiles. This is dependent on the the standard you 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 cho of your choice in this case i'm using the bs or the uk uh, or, or the uk environment so the profiles might vary dependent on the on the environment you're using if you're using the us the the profiles might differ if you use uh, the middle east the profiles might differ if you use uh, the the indian one you they vary now in this case i'm using the uk if you want to know that now i'll scroll down because i want to change this profile to 40 by 40 by 4 millimeter thick i'll scroll to uh, 240 remember this is uh, square hollow sec uh, square hollow section or s h s now i'll scroll down and come to 40 and click that plus sign so that i get i get access to the variety of sizes and a category of 40 of, of 40 square or hollow section remember the thickness are different that's why th that category four comes in now in this case we have foot by 40 we will work with 444 40 40 by 4 millimeter thick i'll click apply and accept that and come here and, and give a an nod to that and uh, close that now now i want to populate this along the points or to the points so prior to doing that make sure this point this member is falling right in the middle of the point points that we created to confirm that just come to view and uh, rotate this so that you can have a look at that it's falling at the edge but which is not good for us so i'll demo click on that so i play around with the position with positioning of this member into the into, into the middle of that point now to do that come to under positions here and come to horizontal and can pick middle right there and that will take it straight to the middle point of that point so what we'll do just select on that right click and come to copy so what will help us here we'll just populate this along the x axis so what we'll do just remove the negative sign here and we'll just feed here there were 14 14 so in this case we'll just use maybe 26 will work better and click copy that's it and that should take us all the way to th to the far end this is where we are so we can get rid of this of this one we can get rid of that just delete and we can get we can pick that we want this to be similar both ways copy that there right click and check where where, where that ends so it's the same then exactly that was what we wanted to do so this is how it look but the bottom bo uh, the this line is not part of a curved truss this is just to help in placing uh, our reference points in creating uh, the struts or the internal point uh, parts of our, of our curved truss now for this case let me just get rid of them of that point so that you don't get mixed up now 
in this case now we want to start locating the exact position of our trusses step by step so that we get something accurately done so what we do we want to cut these members to the bottom end of our top and bottom code i'll come to edit and come to part cut i want to cut this uh, strut by the top and the bottom code so i select the part to be cut i want to be cut by that member and again i select on it and i want it to be cut by that member and again and select on this and i want to be cut with that member select the member to be cut first then click the cutting part then i'll select on that i want to want to be cut by that i want to cut that by that i want to cut this by that don't get mixed up i want to cut this uh, by that i want to cut this by that so to see whether it has been cut just mouse over on the, on the part will cut you'll see uh, it ends somehow ends on the surface of the part you've, you've just used to cut it now i'll come here again and s select on that and want to cut it by that select on that and cut with that make sure you cut you trim off everything i want to cut this and the cutting part is that i want to cut that and the cutting part is that i want to cut this and the cutting part is that and i want to cut that the cutting part is that this has not been cut just check just mouse over and you'll see what the ones you've trimmed so you see that hasn't been cut because there's no any cutting edge that flashes with the, with the surface of our trimming of our cutting member now i'll select on that and cut it with that select on this member and cut it with this so again select on that and cut with that and zoom out and select this and cut it with that so if you get to the center of this curvature of this truss if you get to the to the center of this of this tr uh, truss we can just mirror and get everything the other end end up and uh, i guess we're almost to the center i'll pick on this and cut it to that and pick on that and cut it to that so i think we are exactly we are at the mem at the center let me just try and not guess anything out of this select on that and cut it with that and uh, select on this and cut it with that i think that will take us to the exact center of what we want to do now we want to locate the points again the midpoints of this so how do we do that we'll just press control 2 so that we can see the internal parts of our of our of our members i'll come to view here and come to navigate and i want to rotate this into position that i'll be, be i'll be able to see it clearly so first of all make sure that whatever you've done is not is actually what you wanted to do first of all let me just uh, uh, hide this so that i can see that has not been that has not cut uh, cut through i'll just refresh to bring it back so i'll come to edit i'll come to points here and again i'll go ahead and, and type and press control 2 so that i can see the uh, where this ends on, on the surface of this bottom code i'll come to edit here and come to points here i'll click on the first option of point creation will, which will help us in creating the midpoint between two points or between two edges i'll pick on that because i want to get the me the midpoint between that edge and this edge so i'll mouse over that center and mouse over to that edge and the, this is the point i want it's very critical in this case now I'll zoom out and snap on that spot and snap on that spot. Zoom out again and do a similar thing all the way. So just move ahead and do that and zoom out and do the same thing. I'll snap right there and snap all the way here to get the midpoint of that. I'll, I'll zoom out and I'll snap right here and snap all the way to get to that point right. Now I'll come here and snap there and snap there i've got the midpoint in place i'll bring this close and snap there and snap right there i'll zoom out and do the same thing this, this looks a, rep a repetitive something a repetitive thing a repetitive and it should not bore you this actually how people learn and uh, look at that point and i'll snap on that spot and snap on that spot and i'll come all the way to that and place it right there and come down and do ex exactly the same thing because we are doing 
the same thing I'll go ahead because I've just terminated the process I repeat that and I'll place another point right there zoom out and place another one here there and there zoom out and place another one here and there I'm making the points a little bit pronounced so that when I start placing my my internal members I don't run into any confusion at all now I'll snap there and I'll go ahead and snap right there now I'll zoom out and I'll do the same thing I'll do that once again and I'll come check the bottom end if you've done something right there and uh, snap there and snap right there zoom out and target the bottom end here zoom in and snap there and snap right there it's not accurate and we'll place it in that exact position because the bell you've just had means you've done something wrong which need to be corrected immediately and we've done exactly that now i'll snap right here and uh, place another point right there then uh, zoom out and snap on that spot and snap on that spot zoom out once again and snap right here and snap right there zoom out to the bottom end of this then snap right here and snap right there we target far end here and what i guess we've done we've just reached we've just reached the midpoint and we can go ahead and press control 4 so that we get our we get rid of this now or we can get, get rid of that we can get rid of all these parts now get rid of that get rid of that don't f don't delete your your grid because you might run into uh, an an irrectifiable error now and you remember we are hunting down the time we we cut time on this just delete everything here because the next thing we are going to just to mirror uh, create a similar thing all the way just delete this just delete this now we have our points in the in the in the exact positions here now i'm going to close that um, line then i'll come to points here i'll come to steel here and click beam and i want to place a member from that point all the way to this point we have a member right there and uh, i'll come to the view and try to turn that around and you can see we have a member right there right there in place perfect now what do we do now we'll go ahead and start doing the same thing till we get to the midpoint of our curve of our curve or of our truss there and place another one right there snap right here and place another one right here Remember, a uh, reason why you are doing this, it's very hard to place the internal members accurately on a curved, or uh, between two curved members, I mean the top and bottom cord. So that is the way you can do it accurately. Or, or another case is once you've created a curvature like this, it will be hard to determine the center point of this curve because this is just part of a full circle so it will, it will run you'll find yourself dumping yourself in the total confusion trying to find the centers of these two circles which will, will leave you frustrated with uh, seeking uh, ways on how you can come back to uh, a better way of doing that let me I've, I've just realized we've done something wrong and we want to rectify that if you take a look here our uh, this member is not at the right center it's not at the center of our point and we want this member to move uh, exactly to the center of this point so what do we do we just double click on this member and come to position and uh, positions here and we'll be able to play with this position so that it uh, position itself exactly to the center of this point come to position here come to horizontal here then click middle then click ok it has gone to the center then get rid of this because just now we've used it and it's now an obstruction now oh we've not we've not lost our points right click and come to point here we'll come to steel we'll come to beam we'll snap right there we'll snap right here we'll snap right there and all the way to that spot we'll snap right here and move all the way to that spot 
we'll snap right here and move all the way to that spot right there snap here and move this one to that position right there and move to that spot and move to that position right here will most likely up faster because uh, this is now a, a clear view of the the direction we are heading to pr uh, adding to the preview that i showed you uh, prior to starting this sh this should should be should be have a clear direction of where we are heading to so at this point we are creating the internal members of our curved truss so all things we've just done just creating the references of creating the internal members of our curved truss so that's the way it it it, it it's, it's done so i don't think well whether we've crossed the the midpoint so what we'll just do we we'll just try to mirror this on the other end and see whether it will cross the, the, the other way now to do that we want to create a member here that will help us in creating the uh, a mirror line we will bring we'll create a member here we'll snap all the way from that spot and snap to that spot so we'll bring our our xyz plane here we'll come to xyz plane here and mouse over any component that will will reorient our xyz plane to the best position that will will be fit for us to mirror all these components the other way around so i'll select on these members so i'll select on these members like that just select in, every, in, in all the members you intend to mirror in the opposite direction i'll select on that so since this member is in between it's cutting half of 20 is cutting half half of 20 and is we have 20 here in between we, on a right click and come to uh, special copy and we'll come to mirror so i'll mouse i'll zoom close so that we pick the midpoint of this member to be our mirror line make sure you snap on the exact position or exact midpoints of, of two points I'll, sla I'll, sna I'll snap on that spot and come all the way and snap on the bottom end of this and then click ok you can see the angle of mirroring is 90 exactly now I'll go, I'll go ahead and click ok and click ok copy and, co and copy and ok so we see we've mirrored the other end but slightly we were off the mark the center off the center slightly so I'll select on that right click and come to move uh, come to copy and I want to bring that I want to bring that to that spot I want to copy it right there and also I want to copy this select on that because we we'll just mi miss the, the center with, with a sli with a slight margin and uh, that should not be a worry you, you, sh you should always find your way out of any crisis then click on that Again, we've missed it with a slight uh, margin. I'll come here and click copy. Select on this. Just select on that and bring it somewhere there. There we are. And what we can do now, we can try and delete this and bring it back. Or double click on that and drag it slightly down drag it slightly down so that it touches the the bottom end of our bottom cord so that everything is perfect and this is exactly what we wanted to do oh still not exactly on the exact position just drag it slightly so there it is that is the position you want that to be in now we'll do the same thing here just select on it then uh, drag that point to flash with that end Make sure the top end also behave th the same way. Just drag it up because we will weld this so that that shouldn't be a worry so that it, it goes all the way. It flashes the way you want it to do. Remember, there's one thing we've just done and that shouldn't be a, a worry because we wanted this internal cords to be internal members to be 40 by 40. So what we'll do, we'll just leave it at that because the key point is, is to know, is to you to understand how to do this. So uh, we, in the internal members should be 40 by 40 by 4 millimeter thick. Now let me just uh, zoom out and in so that I check which member is not uh, touching the uh, top and bottom cords properly, uh, accurately. Now, I'll come to... Uh, to still here and pick now the beams and sn I'll snap right at the uh, right at the midpoint right there and go all the way but these ones now I'll use I'll try and use the 40 by 40 
So what I'll do, I'll just snap on that spot and make sure everything is positioned is positioned right in the position in the right position. So double double click on that and make sure this one is la is landing right in the middle. So just double click on that. So we can change this to we can just we can change this profile to 40. Click on that, come to 40 here and pick, and we can change that. That's how to change that. Click on that and click apply. It's not the best to do something of that sort. Not a good idea. Yes, undo that. So we, we will retain that because the key here is you, for you to understand how to use this thing. Just double click on this, drag it slightly up, drag it slightly up slightly up so that it touches the top coat so that when you weld the member will find a way of, of, of attaching itself to both cords now I'll come to steel once again and I want to create that I'll come to view I'll come to navigate and uh, I want to turn that around so that I'll be able to access that position th that position and drag all the way and make sure I'll be able to z to see the, uh, the, the end the, the end point of this where I will be able to terminate this I exact thing has happened here and uh, this should not be a big issue we can just uh, terminate it right there I'll double click on this because it's picking for it's picking up 40 by 40 by by 4 so we want to switch this to uh, to 8 80 by 80 and you'll select on that so that it default on that member right click and you come to that perfect drag this one slightly up so that we come to steel here and come to beam and we want to turn this round and come to navigate and turn that around so we can snap on that spot and zoom out and target the bottom end here and turn that round like that turn that round right click and come to interrupt and we'll snap right there perfect the next thing is doing a similar thing or we've just gone the opposite way Get rid, that, get rid of that and we want to bring our our strut from this far end the bottom end here so that everything we do it looks uniform not it should not look different for, for from what we have just showed you now let me just mouse over this so that you, you get the midpoint of this I'm not able to see that so I'll press con press control 2 so that I'll, I'll be able to uh, to snap at the bottom end right there then zoom out and come to view and uh, turn that round we just I'll come to navigate and turn this round like that so because the point I want to see is this point here is this point here that's the point I want to see so if I press control 4 I'll be able to see that that has landed in the, in the, in the best position So I'll pick it from this spot. So prior to doing that, I need to drag this slightly up, drag that slightly up, drag it slightly up so that it, and run all the way to this end here and place a member there. Press control four. I think now we are in the middle point of everything here. I'll come to navigate and rotate this so that we have an elevation of this. Perfect. And we'll select on all these members. Just select on all these. I remember, uh, I think, our xyz plane is still on the exact position if it is an exact position do mirroring this will be an easy way through so we've selected the members we've just selected it right now we've selected the members you want to mirror right now then i right click and come to special copy here and pick mirror zoom out target the midpoint of this member because this is the member that we used as a mirror point uh, as a mirror line to mirror all the components that we did just a minute ago or some few minutes ago I'll snap on that spot to define our mirror line click on that select copy and give it an OK interrupt to exit from that command and we can take a look we have done exact thing here so wh whatever you see this member means uh, there is a there's a repeat of what we've done so get rid of that and remain with what is required don't forget to save your work that's key now the next thing remaining we want to create uh, the connection between uh, the top cord 
and the bottom chord of our truss. The first thing you do you must do it, these things these members should be should be assembled together separately so that one will do once we've terminated the connection we'll have cut across this section and that section so so that we create an assembly between the, this side and that side so the the first thing we want to do here is to create the connection between the, tr uh, the the truss and our column so the first thing uh, the next thing i want to do let me just pull my xyz to a default position so i'll come here and create my points right here i'll come here and create my points points snap on that spot and snap on that spot and i want to give a, a slight offset on this and i'll come here to uh, to special copy and give a slight offset i'll change that to zero i'll change this to z to one because you just need a copy and uh, we'll give a hundred right there and uh, give an offset of a of hundred millimeter right there so what i'm going to do right now is to come at the bottom end here come to edit come to edit here and uh, pick at any position then i'll snap at the at the edge and snap at the edge right there and i want to give I want to give the same offset here so i'll pick these two points here press control then right click and come to that position right there then move that 100 of offset and place it right there so we have an offset of 100 and an offset of 100 on top here so this will help us in creating a plate end plate here so let me close that then come to plate uh, come to steel i'll come to plate then i want to create my uh, my plate right there so I'll close this po polygon. So the moment it closes, uh, our plate will be created with a default thickness of 10 millimeter, which is if, which is adjustable to any thickness of your choice. But I'll, I'll just leave it at 10. So double click. You can see it's 10 millimeter thick. We can leave it at 10, and uh, you can see it it has gone all the way and it has gone to be part of our beam thickness so we, that's wrong that's wrong, and we need to correct that so to, to f uh, bring it back to and flash it back uh, flash it together with our truss truss end now we'll come to uh, to position here at depth and this is front option then uh, we'll bring it to we'll click it to we'll select behind and that will bring it close to uh, that will attach it to our to our truss now the next thing remaining here is to place our holes perfect remember this extension can be you can get rid of that extension if you need now and i don't think whether it should be there well, i'll get rid of it i'll get rid of it i'll get rid of it right away and uh, mm, to get rid of it i need some guidance in doing that so i'll come to points here pri um, after getting rid of it i'll come to uh, edit i'll come to edit here i'll snap right there and snap right there and snap right there so i want to get rid of this i come to edit and edit by line line cut i'll select the part i want to uh, trim off i'll select on that spot select on that spot and select the part i don't i don't want to i want to cut off it it has not responded and we just leave it on that position there's no need there's no re there's no need to do that now another thing it's always good to do something that satisfies everyone select on that we want to, we must get rid of this we must get rid of that get rid of that so i'll come back to edit once again i'll snap on that spot and snap on that spot and come to points here and snap on that spot now i'll sm snap on that spot and pick that offset so i'll come at the bottom end here and pick this offset select on that select on that select on that and select on that and select on that so i want to pull this offset on top here of 100 here i'll select on this i'll select on that right click and uh, copy that to the to the other end so that when i select on it on these two and hold it up from that uh, from that point and place it right here the offset will be sim similar so whatever we did previously there was a slight confusion uh, so i'll start right there and uh, try to close this polygon so the moment we close this polygon our point will be our plate will be created at a default thickness of 
10 millimeter 10 millimeter thick so I'll, I'll come to depths here and pick uh, front this time round so this is what we have right click and redraw so we have our plate attached to this truss it's not welded together and this that will be done later on so what we can do in this case we can just come here and uh, applications and under, under application component and just type weld and we need to weld it straight away because you might forget weld that to that give it some time to process all that information and that has been welded and weld it and weld this to that and that has been welded so get rid of this welding uh, macro application component thing now we want to create marking we want to mark our plates here so that we can place our bolts accurately we'll come to uh, edit and come to points here and pick on that spot and snap on that spot and snap on that spot we've created a midpoint of this plate and we want to create a midpoint between this plate between this point and that edge we want to get a midpoint come there and check check that and create a midpoint right there we'll do the same thing instead of doing whatever we've just done we'll copy what we've just done and repeat the same so if you come to view here we can rotate this and check whether the positions we have is is is, is good enough for uh, for us to place our plates our bolts it's okay we can place a bolt there we can come all the way here we can come all the way here let me just uh, do something here I'll come to points here and I'll, I'll start locating my points here let me just zoom out and snap right there right there I've snapped on that spot and come here and I want to locate a midpoint between these two points here it's a little bit longer and don't just be patient uh, the key point is to learn learning is key and that's exactly what we want you to have that knowledge of how to use particular structures is very important that's it now i want to copy this member copy that point and paste it right there copy it there copy it right there and copy it right there remember there's no copy pasting of a model that's a language that people use wrongly and it doesn't work you don't don't you cannot copy paste right click that and place that member there and place that member there and place that member there place that member there and place that member there and place that member there equally equally perfect now 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 what we want to go what we want to use is select uh, select on to select on this member we want to place a bolt here and how do we do that is now again to se so to pick on the midpoint between this two point and that point and we'll, we must repeat the same thing all the way right click and uh, copy it from that spot and place it right there and place another one right there and place another one right here and place another one right there it might look confusing but it's uh, it's 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 rich in knowledge on how to use uh, on how to manipulate this on how to manipulate your model and be confident to share with anyone and explain and explain how you did it how you did it and how you can do it much better than that that's key now i'll snap i'll place another one right there place another one right there so these are the markings that will help us in placing our bolts so i want to use this point i want i need a bolt i need some bolts here so it's easy and uh, we'll snap there and place another bolt right there and snap there and place another marking there so i'll select on this member so on that point and place a point a point there and place a point right there so i'll pick that and copy that and pay and uh, bring it right there so i'll select on that copy that select on that spot just a moment select on that point pick it from that spot pick your place it right there place it right there place it right there 
I'm going step by step so that I don't get too mixed up when doing this or watching this so that you go ahead and try it yourself with confidence because the key here is to let you know how to use this confidently and uh, without any without any confusion which is so bad to confuse you then copy that right there copy that copy that and copy that right there copy that right there and there's so many markings and you'll see how it's it's turning out see how this is turning out and we can copy another one right there we need a bolt another bolt right here the bottom end here so how do we mark that select on that copy it from that spot zoom out and come all the way and copy it right there so we have a bolt here zoom out and we'll come here and close that we'll come to steel we'll come to steel right there and come to bolt select on the parts that you want to bolt together I'll select on the beam and select on that plate and press my my space bar on on my keyboard and i'll come all the way here and uh, and press my mute button and prior to doing that what i want to check first of all is center to center is how much is how long or what the distance between the center the centers now i'll come to edit come to distance and snap right there and snap right there that is 87 millimeter center to center now i'll come to edit i'll come to steel there and pick on bolts select the parts i want to bolt together and press my press on sp uh, press space bar on my keyboard then uh, snap on those two points and that's exactly what i wanted to do so if i come to view here and turn this around bef uh, before uh, moving further in creating this double click here on the bolts and include washer there if you click modify we'll see whatever you want to have and that is m20 m20 is okay for this particular co uh, connection now on the x-axis we want uh, this distance to go all the way to um, the center to center 87 and how many bolts do we have several all of that i can't count but i'll just predict the, the number here so i'll give it 13 bolts times 87 millimeter so I'll, if i click on that you'll be able to see the bolts coming all the way here so i'll, I'll undo that so that we, we add more double click on that then come on the bolts here and just type 20 times 87 slightly off the mark still or we can give it we can leave it at 100 which is 87 which is okay we can adjust it right here 25 and click okay Twenty-six. It's okay. Perfect. It is there, and we can now go ahead and right-click and come to copy. Copy that and bring it that end, and we have our bolts on on that in that position. Perfect. And we need some bolts here on top here. We'll come to bolts, um, come to steel, and come to bolts here. We'll select on these members again, and we want to place a bolt here. And prior to doing anything, check the distance between these two centers, which is key come to uh, uh, distance and check this distance here that is 62.5 we want to verify that once again because it's key to work on realities check on that 62.15 so i'll come to steel and click on uh, bolt i'll select the members so you want to bolt together press your space bar on the keyboard and feed it right there and this is the number you receive which is ex uh, which is looks uh, as scary if you are new to take our structures now I'll, uh, I'll change this I'll bring this to i'll bring this to two two and change this to 62.15 62.15 and try and give a modification of that we have to, uh, two balls so we just have to feed one that's okay but the orientation of our bolts is quite weird and we want to change that to change that you just come to uh, positions and try and give it below rotation and that is not the best way we give it a front or, or front right there front is not working give it back back is not working give, give it we give it top 
top is okay and that's okay select on that and how do we take it to the bottom end there we'll just uh, copy it from that position and take it right here it ma is much is much easy so what do we do here we'll select on this member we'll select on this member once this has been selected we'll uh, apply to doing that we we want to check the xyz position of this so we'll come to view here we'll come to uh, we'll come to the work plane tool and uh, place our xyz in the best position so that we can mirror everything the other end so what we'll do we'll select on the bolts we select on the plate we select the plate press control and select the bolts these bolts all these bolts make sure i pick everything and right click and come to special copy and pick on mirror then uh, snap right to the center here it's key because this will help us in mirroring everything that looks similar so that we do we keep on we don't keep on doing the same thing yet there's a, a shorter way of doing that right click and interrupt to terminate that command of copying then we have everything on this end so the key point here is to copy this the other way to the opposite direction select on everything by pressing control and uh, select on this component here on this plate and make sure if you've selected everything you you want to mirror or copy in the on the opposite direction in this case we don't need to mirror we just we just need to we just need to move it to the to that location just select on this then move all the way we've just uh, invoked the move command then we'll move it all the way to this position here then I'll snap it right there. So we've welded, we've connected this member to that member. So to confirm whether we've welded this, just select on that. You will notice that it's not welded together. Get rid of this. And now we'll come, we'll come back and the mistake on getting to getting rid of this. Select on weld and we want to weld this to this. And we want to weld this member to that member. Get rid of this nano now because it's now an obstruction to our work. Now if I turn this like this you can see exactly what we've done and uh, it's taking a li little bit of a longer process and you've got the concept right now we need some stiffeners here and how do we get the, the, the stiffeners in place it's quite easy and the best way to do that come to plate and snap on that spot snap on that spot and snap on that spot snap on that spot and snap on that spot double click on the plate and bring it to a point where it flashes the top end of the of our column click front or click behind and click on that it has flashed so you see it, it has closed there's any there's no any play, uh, space so we want to chamfer this end chamfer that end chamfer that end and uh, to chamfer that is quite easy navigate and turn that round so we want to see everything we are doing select on this member right click and come to hide click on hide and click on empty screen uh, click edit and we'll be able to access a uh, chamfer edge so how do you chamfer the edge we want this uh, this edge to look like this so this is uh, the, the 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 heights of chamfers we can leave it at default at of 30 or you can change it to 40 but 40 is slightly big so i'll go ahead and select the part i want to chamfer this inner part this one and that one that's a chamfer i've created though it's big and that's enough to let water out you know, to avoid what are accumulating in between the beam and uh, and the stiffeners so this will let will avoid any water accumulation when it when it rains so it eradicate rusting of our members just right click and redraw so that we get this member back now if i turn this round like that i have my bolts on this end so i need to get rid of them so i want to mirror this the other end so what i'll do i'll reorient my work plane tool i'll place it on top here make sure it, it lands accurately right there right click and select on that right click and come to special copy and mirror then i want to mirror it from this position from that position right there and click copy we have a mirror point a mirror line on uh, we have mirrored it on the other end now i'll pick on this member select on that member right click and come to special copy here click linear and i want to copy it along the xyz but the opposite direction of xyz at a distance of 500 how many do i want i need around 
10 or, or 6 or uh, around 5 or 6 right there 5 now I'll click copy there it is and that's perfect and I click OK remember that your plates should not clash with the balls should not hit the balls which is okay in our case it's perfect and you just right click and redraw and if I turn this round like that you can be able to see our stiffeners are exactly in the, in the best position perfect and this is how it looks don't worry about the number of bolts used to to fasten the the truss to the column that's perfect now the next thing we want we are going to do just select on the stiffeners and uh, copy the same thing the opposite direction select on that select on that and come to navigate select on that and turn around like that and select on this by pressing control select on that select on that member select on that then right click and come to uh, copy here and I just pick on the send on the on the points you want to copy it to and I want to copy it right there perfect here we are right click and redraw come to navigate and turn that round like that we have our member in place so we'll come to base plates or prior to placing the base plates we know we want to place the cleats here we want to place the cleats here and placing the cleats on on a curved member it's very tricky and this is a point you uh, I'll, I'll come in handy and I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do that in an easy way I'll come to at any position here and snap on that spot snap on that spot and snap on the other end so the, the, the best thing I'm going to do I'll just pick on this I'll just pick on that option select on that select on that and apply that so what I'm going to do I'm going just to I'm going first of all to mark uh, the plate I'll come to edit I'll come to point here and uh, first of all pick on that snap on that spot make sure you snap on the actual positions and snap right there snap on that spot and snap on that spot and snap on that edge and again snap right here and snap right there it looked like, like a tedious job but it's key when it's come to uh, uh, modeling your 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 rare structure. You know, uh, curved uh, curved trust is is a rare thing and it's the hardest thing to do in in in, the, in any software. So I'll uh, snap on that spot and snap right there. Snap right there. Perfect. Make sure I want. I'm targeting the midpoint of this. So that when I do one thing, I just mirror everything to the locations of my preference. I select on that and snap this one on that spot and snap that one on that spot and zoom out and target this member. I'll snap on that spot and snap on this spot. Target on the other end and snap right there. Zoom out and snap right here. Snap right there and snap on that spot. Zoom out and snap right there and snap on this on this member and snap right there I'm slightly far away from the midpoint I'll snap right there and snap on that spot and snap on that spot zoom out and I'll snap on this spot right here and move all the way to that end snap right there and I'll snap on that position right there it's key then uh, I'll uh, snap right here then there snap here and snap right there and snap on the other end zoom out and snap here and snap right there and snap on the other end bring it close and snap there I'm just creating the reference points for our cleats snap here and snap right there bring it close and snap right here snap there and snap right there perfect i think we are now past the the, the midpoint now what i'm going to do is just to select on these two points 
and right click and come to off uh, special copy and uh, get rid of the zero and uh, target the same location I'll, I'll just type 100 100 and how many you want you just want one and click copy it's copied up now I want to create a plate here I want to create a cleat a plate that will act as our our cleat there right here right there and that one and on that spot perfect this is our cleat and I want to create holes here because this will be welded together with the truss now I'll come to edit here and come to points and I'll, t I'll uh, pick on that spot and pick on that spot to get the midpoint of that then I'll come to points here and pick on this point and pick on that point to get a midpoint. Select on that and co pick copy and place it right there. Perfect. Apply and I'll give it an, 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 an offset. Then we'll pick these two points here and come to special copy here and pick a linear. Then we'll move it slightly down by 30 millimeter. By 30 millimeter. Negative movement. And or in opposite direction. So I'll click OK. I'll come to Applications and Component here and type Hole. I'll double click on my hole and uh, the, the size of the hole I want because the, the bolts will, will be used here will be M M M M12. So I'll, my hole will be 14. So I'll just type there 14. Now I'll uh, feed a negative 7 here because it's half of that 14 and feed a negative 7 there because half of 14 and feed my 14 here, the hole of the, uh, the, uh, the, the size of the hole. I'll click uh, the circular and I'll go ahead and click save us. So I'll click modify. Once I've clicked on that, I'll click the part I want to create hole on, press control, uh, press middle button, then snap on that spot select uh, snap on the position that I want to create the hole click on empty screen and you can see the hole already created I'll come back here and invoke this uh, command press mid button and snap on the hole on the position you wanted to create the hole close this now bring it back well click click weld I want to I want to weld this member to that member perfect I'll select on that, pick on it right there, I'll place it right there, I'll place it right there, I'll continue placing it right there. So these are cleats I'm placing here. I'll get rid of that because it's now obstructing me. I'll place it another, I'll place another one there and I'll place another one here. And go ahead and place another one here so whenever we reach the midpoint we'll just mirror everything to reflect the opposite of what we just done then uh, we'll mirror we'll place another one there we'll place another one here so these are cleats we are creating here so the bells we are hearing is this is because of welding is being created because we did a weld prior to uh, creating holes or prior to copying it to various points uh, of our truss. So this is the, the, lo the location we are in. So if I right click and redraw, we'll get rid of all the points. So I'll go one by one and select uh, these components so that I can mirror them on the opposite direction. Remember, I want everything to look similar to the to 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 the model I showed I showed I show you prior to starting creating this so that. It looks similar and everything is complete as per what was showed to you. Now, now let me just select on that. Select on everything right there. Select on that. Zoom out and select on that. And that's it. Now the key point here is, is to mirror. And uh, the point of our mirroring, we, we, got, we got rid of it. And we can, it's simple. We can create another one despite selecting uh, all, all those components. I'll, I'll place one here. Then uh, I'll reorient my XYZ position here by coming to view and coming to the work plane tool here and I'll place it somewhere right here. Somewhere right here. I'll place it somewhere right here. Right here. There we are. And if I right click because our selection is still active, I'll come to mirror and I'll zoom out and target this midpoint here and snap on that spot 
and snap this part and uh, the, the two points will define our mirroring points so i've mirrored that now if i right click here you can see we have our cleats all the way from this end to that end what you should never forget is saving your work because you might lose everything your computer whether whether your computer crashes or you've lost power so what i'm going to do next is to place the base plate and that uh, that is an easy thing we've done it several times so there's no need of doing that repeatedly so this is just step one and step two is coming remember we are going to do this uh, project from the um, from scratch to the to the finish or to the final point of this so this is how it looks this is exactly what we've just done and this is the curvature so maybe you want to populate this along the, the grid lines first of all you count how many uh, a number of these just select that press control and deselect this then right click and come to special copy here and check the orientation of, of your of your z axis i want to populate the pop, populate it along the z axis but at a, a, a distance of, of six meter how many do we want we have we want 14 of that or 20 of that 20 of that or 19 of these then now uh, we just click go ahead and click ok and give it some time and everything will be populated and that's how it will it will look just give it some time and everything will be populated right click and click close that right click and click redraw and this what we have this is what you will have at the end of it all so this is our curved truss and this is how it will look so Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm Maurice Dimba and please, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then on the next step on uh, enhancing the appearance of this structure. Thanks a lot and bye bye. Let's meet then.